Now let us determine the degree of freedom for the t-test. سنحدد الآن درجة الحرية. The degree of freedom for the t-test is equal to n1 minus 1 plus n2 minus 1 or n1 plus n2 minus 2. In this example it will be 10 plus 9 minus 2 is equal to 17. Now we will determine the critical or the tabular value. We go to the t distribution critical values table. It looks like this. We have the first column the degrees of freedom and the first row is divided into two parts. The, f the, the upper part is for the one tail tests and the lower part the shaded one is for the two tail tests. We have in this case one tail and the alpha is equal to 0 0.05 so this is our column and the degree of freedom is equal to 17 so this is our row. The meeting of the column with the row will give us the tabular value which is 1.7396. This is a one tail test with the alpha is equal to 0 0.05 and the degrees of freedom is equal to 17 so the critical or the tabular value is equal to 1.7396 finally the conclusion we are going to compare the calculated value which is 1.9323 with the tabular value which is equal to 1.7396 the calculated value 1.923 is more than the tabular value 1.7396 so our statistical decision is to reject the null hypothesis in conclusion in opacity female secondary school students have lower hemoglobin levels than male secondary school students